it, no, so King of Ring happened. I skimmed it while we were doing other podcasts to kind of see what was happening. I will rewatch this later, of course. Um, but uh, the news. Cover your ears, Bobby, if you don't want to be spoiled for this no, segment. I spoiled oh, okay. Is uh, 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 your new King of the Ring, and I think the most appropriate choice in this yep. case is oh. Bad News Bearers. Matt mm-hmm. Collins, you've been justified. King I'm so Dog happy. Boner. King Dog Boner. King he Dog Boner. It. He deserves that after losing month after month. Right, right. Because- I mean,. I mean, it, it, it makes sense. It's something, and, and and I don't know, I don't think this is a response per se to the IC title disappearing, uh-huh. you know? Uh, if anything, maybe we would, would have had, like, Daniel Bryan involved in this sort of thing. But, uh, but but no, I, I, I really enjoy it. So we discussed this a lot on the Raw wrap-up, of course, since a lot of the King of Ring happened on Raw last mm-hmm. night. Um, but uh, but no, I really I really enjoy it that they brought back to tournament. I love tournaments. Um, and, and, and I thought it was a lot of fun. And, and from what I saw uh, of tonight, again, I'll rewatch it later. Uh, it looked like we had some really great matches to really kick this thing off. Um, uh, Seamus got busted the hell open. <laughs> oh, no. He got busted open. So um, if any of you guys weren't watching live and you watch it afterwards and you don't see Seamus <laughs> gushing blood from his eye, they edited that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because... Uh, the finish of the first match was kind of stupid. It was Ziggler came out for a distraction. Shocker. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of setting hey. up for that one, weren't we? Yeah, but the, but the uh, Barrett the Bear Archery match actually God, seemed pretty no. good. The Bear Archery match actually seemed pretty good from what I was able to see. Good. Do you do you think this will lead to Barrett getting some more opportunities down the line? Do you think this is going to result in anything? Because I mean, King of the Ring. As far as like what it does for the wrestler that wins it, it's always sort of hit and miss. Mm-hmm. Billy Gunn. I, I, Billy w- Gunn. I, wish, I wish they'd go back to if you won King of the Ring, you were number one contender for SummerSlam. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. I um, wish they would go back to that because then you could have like a build. Like you could have Wade Barrett just randomly insert himself in the authority scenes. Like, so Seth Rollins, I'll see if you, I've got some bad news for you. Like, I, just stuff like that. You know? I. I think they should bring King of the Ring back as a pay-per-view. Yeah, like I, I'm surprised this whole tournament was just one day. What? What is technically it? two? Okay. But. Legitimate question. What? Okay. Why is payback two months after WrestleMania? Mm. Wasn't payback usually after WrestleMania? No, no, payback you're thinking backlash. backlash. You're oh, thinking backlash. backlash. Okay. Well, what are we paying back? For well, the free we're, we we're, we're paying back all the feuds that should have ended in WrestleMania. <laughs> we're okay. paying back all the rules that got extreme, Bobby. Can, and the can, free money. Payback is better than King, or King of the Rings. Better than payback. Listen, listen. Extreme That's rules. Listen, extreme rules. Are, like, like we said, still, still caged shenanigans last week, right? And we had that. And there was a lot mm-hmm. of shenanigans throughout the night with the wonky <laughs> rules and everything, with arses not being kissed and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so payback is the payback on the things that happened there. Um, you. you hit me with a chair, or you did not properly kiss my ass. Whatever it is, there will be payback. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? what is that? Not, well, you don't like that? You don't like that? Wait, well, Eamon, you don't like that? No, no, no I, I, in theory, that's cool, but also, like, <laughs> there's some of these feuds and also, like, the, the stipulations that are given to the feuds where it's like, I'm cool with these ending. Yes. Like, I'm cool with this, like, Extreme Rules ending these feuds. Mm-hmm. You know um, what I mean? What feud ended? Nothing ended. No, nothing, nothing ended. ended. Well, well, Roman Reigns? That's true. Roman Reigns, I guess, is done. Well, with until Carter. Nick Harper and Dean Ambrose, kind of, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It would yeah. kind of have Har- to be. Honestly, Harper and Ambrose was the most successful as far as, like, a, a Nick. I'm sorry, like, an extreme sort of match like that should be a, a feud ender, or, mm-hmm. or at the very least, like, should be well, a an impactful thing, like, you know, leading to something. But I just, I don't know. I, I felt, obviously, we'll kind of jumping ahead here yeah but. we're jumping we're going to talk more about extreme yeah. roles in a bit but with the king of the ring and let me let me parlay this into the conversation i think we were going to try to do later but um they're using king of the ring as another oh hey it's free wwe network month you know trying to get you guys into this what mm-hmm. do you think of them using something like this in, in that way for the network i like it you like, I like it? it makes sense it, it's it's nostalgia factor for one mm-hmm. it draws people in it says hey i remember this and it gets people to view their stuff for free, 
and then think about going to purchase it for nine ninety nine. And it's not without precedence either. I think it's better oh, no. than the post match half empty arena in Buffalo that I was there for when. Uh, <laughs>